Hi guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with another Maya modeling tutorial. And in these tutorials, uh, we're actually discussing uh, tool functionality. So this video is all about our mirror cut tool. So the mirror cut tool is a great way to add symmetry to an object when you have one side of your object uh, that you've worked through modeling and adding definition to and you don't want to go through all that work again and you want the one result to be bound to the other result or not bound. Uh, so it's, it's really versatile uh, in that regard. So to illustrate what I mean, I'm going to create a cube here. So I'll click on it. And let's go to our outliner here. We'll see we have these cubes. And I want to frame that cube. Okay, here we go. And okay, so it was just overlapping with another piece of geometry. So we'll just get rid of these cubes here. And I'm going to zoom in on this cube. I'm actually going to frame it. So select it, hit the F key, go back to your perspective mode. So now, what am I going to do with the mirror cut tool? Or the, or the mirror cut uh, option, rather. So let me make one clarification. Uh, as opposed to mesh tools, mirror cut is actually found under the mesh menu under mirror. So now I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to extrude this, and this has. I'm just adding some detail here, uh, just to illustrate to you what we could use this for. So let's say we're creating a, a prop for a video game here. Add some extrusions. Bring this in. Okay, so let's pretend that this was some prop. And we had the detail on this right side worked out, but we wanted to add it to the left side. What I'm going to go is I'm going to go to Mesh, and then under this mirror, uh, this mirror option here, I'm going to go to Mirror Cut, and I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to see here that uh, Cut Along, and I'm going to click on the X Y plane, and I'm also going to check this Merge Merge with Original box. So your settings may not look like this. So if I reset the settings. Uh, you'll see that the YZ plane is selected, so you're going to want to definitely change to XY plane. Now what you're going to do is you're going to select your object, so we have this selected here, we'll go into object mode, select this object, and we're going to hit mirror cut. And you'll notice now that this plane was created, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, so depending on your orientation of your object you created, you may or may not see the mirroring already. Because of the orientation here, I don't see the mirroring. So I'm going to have to start rotating this plane. Now you begin to see uh, the effect of this tool. So the first step is I want to make sure that this object is mirrored the way that I want it to be. So I'm going to say that this object is now mirrored the way I want it to be. So that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this little uh, plane here on your outline. You'll know it's called Mirror Cut Plane One. I don't want to. I don't want this to interfere with my modeling process. Um, you know my perspective on the viewport, right? So what I want to go to is Display, Hide, Hide Selection. Now it's as though I had modeled this from scratch, and I could just worry about my components here. But there is one further step that we'd have to take. Uh, this is very common when working with your mirror cut option under the mesh menu here. And it's that the geometry here turns green. Now what, is th what does green mesh mean in Maya? I've said this in a few of my past tutorials, but what a green mesh in Maya means, uh, it can be caused by a lot of things, but it means that the object lost its connection to the material. right? So as you know, or as you should know in Maya, if we go to Windows, Running Writers, and we jump into the hypershade here, you know that each object in Maya has two different materials uh, by default attached to it. So that's going to be your glow material, your particle glow, right, and your Lambert. Now this is uh, also, you have your shader glow one here. But specifically your Lambert material, your default material, we're going to click this middle mouse button and drag it onto our object. You'll now notice that the green mesh has disappeared and we're left uh, with our with our clean gray mesh. So that was an example of the usage of how you could use mirror cut found by going to mesh under the mirror options and go to mirror cut. And remember, uh, I chose to do it over the XY plane, but it, it doesn't really matter because as I showed you before, you could just rotate this mirror cut plane. And if you want to make some sort of edit to the mirror, let's say it didn't come out perfectly right, 
you could start rotating just like this right and you might it might just help though to actually show the selected mirror plane right so now we have full control over uh, the mirroring effect of our object and one other note uh, if you grab here in this rotation tool you'll see that I could go any which way um, I highly recommend that you highlight over these three these three little uh, gizmos here so you could you could rotate it this way in the X Y or Z axis uh, I just don't recommend that you unless you know you really have something custom and specific because when you start going like this um, if you're not snapping to anything uh, it's really like a freeform thing and so you might think that you know you're perfectly centered here or something but if you're going for accuracy in your model there, there may be some inconsistencies so uh, just please uh, make a note of that uh, thanks for watching this tutorial guys I hope you learned from it uh, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you